previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. Yu Yu won, Zuzu lost, and Gong ended up tying. Madam Chairwoman, the deal was you'd take over this school if your team won the best of a three match contest. Your team only won one duel. So the school stays ours. That's absolute nonsense. This duel is supposed to be the tiebreaker. The contest can't be decided by a draw. It was a tie! The last duel is over! Then we'll have another duel. The ones who won their duels can duel against each other now. Agreed? You shouldn't get to decide. Leave it up to the duelists. Your boy looks like he's raring to go. And so are we. Wait. Huh? I'll be the one to duel. Save the you show school, but it wasn't meant to be. Now it's come down to one final duel, and all the pressure's on you. No, it's not. Huh? It looks to me like you is as cool as a penguin on an iceberg. I bet he's psyched that it's all come down to him winning this one last duel. The future of my school's at stake, but I'm up for the challenge. Oh, you Leo fanatics better watch out! Your team is strong, but we have pendulum power. We can't lose with Yuya on our side. It's gonna be Yuya all the way. He's number one. You children are incredibly naive. Seriously, your poor friend doesn't stand a chance against Declan. Uh, Declan? The time for talk is over, don't you agree? Out on the dueling field, it's actions that count. Words mean nothing. I feel like I've seen that guy before. Ah, let's see now. Declan Akaba. Oh, interesting. <gasps> he looks scary. <laughs> Don't worry, Allie. It'll all be okay. You, you can handle him easily. Why does he look so worried? Hey, Yuya! Perk up! Uh? Don't forget, Yusho trains us to be dual tainers! Your greatest asset is your smile! My smile? <laughs> She's right. I can't let the pressure of competition throw me off my game. My number one priority has to be to have fun. Let's make this the most awesome duel ever. Hope you guys are ready, cause this is gonna be epic. All right, go for it, it Yuya. Good, I can't wait to see that grin wiped off his face. We need to pick an action field. Your school, your choice. Pick a good one. Yuya's leaving it up to me. I honestly don't think he understands what he's up against. Declan's won every dueling prize out there. He's a pro. Yuya's gonna need every advantage he can get, and since Declan says he doesn't care, then I'm free to choose a field that suits Yuya's talents to a T. Get set to duel under the big top! I activate the action field spell, Acrobatic Circus! Augmented reality combat system energized. 
generating action field. Only thing missing are clowns. Don't you worry, none. You just got that covered. Since his whole life's a circus, this field's perfect for him. Well, the stage is all set, Yuya. The rest is up to you now. The Leo Institute has chosen its champion! The plan is set to take on you show star students! They're amazing! Oh, you're so cocky! You're about to witness the ultimate fall door! So get ready to action! Do it! Since you did me a favor by letting me choose the field, I'll let you go first! You really believe I was doing you a favor, don't you? <laughs> that tells me a lot about what kind of competitor you are. All right, I will accept your offer. The first turn's mine. To begin, I'm going to activate three spell cards from my hand. First, this one. This legally binding spell is known as Dark Contract with the Gate. This spell deals me 1,000 points of damage at the beginning of my next turn. Uh, that move makes no sense! Yeah, it's like he's trying to throw the duel away when it's just starting. However, there is a benefit. Once each turn, I can add a double D monster that's level 4 or below to my hand from my deck. I would like to introduce you to my double D Cerberus. Double D? It stands for Different Dimension. Those monsters are out of this world! For my second move, I will activate this spell card. It's the same one I used before. What? By doing that, when his next turn comes up... He'll be 2,000 points weaker! Uh. Once again, I have the power to add a double D monster to my hand if it is level 4 or below. In this case, the monster will be Double D Lilith. And now I will activate a third spell card. It's called Dark Contract with the Swamp King. And like my other contract spells, once my next turn starts, I get hit with 1,000 points of damage. Declan seems to be taking a huge risk. He must have something major up his sleeve. It's not up my sleeve, but in my deck, Yuya. With the power of Dark Contract with the Swamp King, I can summon a fusion monster without using a fusion spell. Huh? So that's his strategy! Now I get it! Don't kid yourself! You understand nothing! Watch as I fuse Cerberus and Lilith together! I fusion summon Triple D Flame King Genghis! Oh man! The guy is a fusion master! Still, he put a lot of points at risk for one monster, don't you think? This one must be really powerful! It has three Ds! Such a lot of letters! I got... a bad feeling. I can't pin it down exactly, but if it's as powerful as it is terrifying, then you use in for trouble. I can't find any record of Declan Akaba using fusion summoning in a duel before! He has an incredible string of victories, and now he's even more powerful! This isn't looking very good for Yuya. Or for the Yusho School! I'm placing two cards face down. It's your move. He played all the cards in his hand. That's a really risky move! a great duelist, his school wouldn't have left him on the bench until now. Good point. He could be overconfident. <gasps> Declan must think he's way more skilled than Yuya, because he's practically spotting him 3,000 points at the start. He's right. If there's one thing Gong can't abide, it's a hot dog and duelist. Let's cook. He deserves to get his deck demolished. Put him in his place, Yuya. That's right. Show him you're the best duelist. Your shreds are going like a pool of sauerkraut. Right. I'll 
defeat Declan, all right. But I'll do it with flair. It's showtime. Yeah! Please welcome Performer Pal Whip Snake. All right, Whip Snake, use your special ability. It can hypnotize your monster into swapping its attack and defense points. And just like that, it weakens Flame King, which means Whip Snake is perfectly set up to strike now. Nice going. Wonderful! It's go time. Whip Snake, extinguish that Fire King. You won't be putting anything out. I activate the trap dark contract with the witch! A contract again? That means... I will once again take damage at the beginning of my next turn. Another 1,000 points to be exact. <gasps> Meanwhile, my Flame King Genghis will benefit by gaining 1,000 attack points. But that means Viv Snake's attack will go kaplow! <laughs> I've got a few tricks of my own, including my high dive. This amazing action card will boost Whip Snake by 1,000 attack points till the end of my turn. Okay, Whip Snake, get back to work and KO that king. Survived? Yes, because I activated an action card of my own. The spell card evasion, to be precise. Huh. Couldn't have done it better myself. Huh. Seems to be an even match. Well, I disagree. Yeah, Declan still has to pay off four contracts. When they come due at the start of his turn, they'll cost him 4,000 life points. He's toast. All Yuya has to do is end his turn now, and Declan won't know what hit him. Yeah, and then it'll be game over! Easy peasy! Declan blundered big time. Don't judge a candy bar by its wrapper. Think about it, guys. Why would he leave himself so defenseless unless he had other plans? Did you notice what happened when Whip Snake attacked his king? Just before impact, Genghis's attack points went back down to 1,500. There had to be a reason. It makes sense for Yuya to go for the easy win here, but if he does, I'm afraid he could be marching straight into an enemy trap. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Of course you don't. What made me laugh was remembering the moment when you said you would do me a favor and let me go first. <gasps> it's clear from your attitude that you're a nice guy, Yuya. But alas, you haven't learned yet that in a duel, playing nice is the quickest path to defeat. Huh? By ending your turn now, you know you can achieve victory, and yet you haven't made a move. Perhaps since you're a nice guy, your sense of fair play has caused you to hesitate? Such weakness will inevitably lead to your downfall. What is he yakking about? It don't make no difference! Ignore him, Yuya! Just end your turn! I'm afraid this is it for you, Declan. I'm ending my turn. Whip Snake's special ability wears off now, so Genghis' attack and defense points will switch back to their original totals. High Dive's effect will also wear off now. Whip Snake's attack points go back to normal too. And now, you have to pay off all the contracts you activated. That will cost you 4,000 life points. Excuse me? What contracts? Uh, where did they all go? My contracts have all been broken. 
If you had been paying close attention, you would have noticed that I activated a trap. With contract laundering, I negated the effects of all my contracts and destroyed them. I guess it's true what they say. A contract is only as good as the card it's written on. Of course! The contract that boosted Genghis's attack points was negated, so when I noticed them returning to normal, that was why! Since he put the kibosh on those contracts, he doesn't take any damage! Lastly, I draw one card for each contract I destroy. The duel continues, Yuya! Uh... I'll be honest with you, Declan. I'm glad I didn't defeat you just now for one important reason. It would have been too easy. Now I can win with the kind of dual tanning performance I learned from my dad. So then you're carrying on Yusho Sakaki's legacy. Uh, you know my dad? <laughs> Are you serious? How could we not know him? After all, your old man was a famous duelist. Yeah, famous for being a complete uh, chicken. Be quiet! <laughs> Clowns. Sorry. I greatly admire your father's exploits. Yusho Sakaki made action dueling as popular and exciting as it is today. He was a true pioneer. I've long waited to test myself against his dueling philosophy, and now I have the chance. We must use all our skills. From here on out, I won't hold back. Won't hold back? So you've been holding back? Perhaps. From here on out, I won't hold back. Won't hold back? So you've been holding back? Perhaps. I draw! I'll summon a level 3 tuna monster, my Double D Night Howl! A tuner monster? More like a tooth monster. Perfect. Now the real duel can begin. Once I've summoned this monster, I can summon another. It must be a double D monster that's level 4 or below in my graveyard, and I have to reduce its attack points all the way to zero. I have decided to revive. Double D Lilith! <laughs> I tune my level 3 double D Night Owl with my level four Lilith! I synchro summon. Level 7 Triple D Gust King Alexander! A synchro monster? Oh. So he can synchro summon too? I wonder what else that guy's been hiding. I'm not finished. Flame King Genghis, activate your special ability and turn up the heat! When a Triple D monster other than my Flame King Genghis is summoned, I'm then allowed to summon a Double D monster from my graveyard. And that's what I'll do. Arise once again, Double D Lilith! And as a further twist, Triple D Gust King Alexander's special ability activates. Whenever a Double D monster is summoned, my Gust King can command another Double D monster to rise from the graveyard as it will now. Return to me, Double D Cerberus! And now, Yuya, I intend to overlay my Cerberus and Lilith. So it begins. What's beginning? Your downfall, of course. With these two monsters, I built the Overlay Network. I promise you have never faced a warrior king as magnificent or commanding as this one. I exceed summon Triple D Wave King Caesar! He can summon Xyz monsters too? This is blowing Gong's mind! <laughs> He can summon three different ways! That's amazing! 
I've never seen a duelist command such power! I should warn you that I have not even begun to unleash my most powerful monsters. The worst is yet to come. That sounds rather terrifying, don't you think? I can assure you that the reality is far worse. <laughs>